plays, especially down the stretch today. If you look at it, 22 minutes left in the game, which is halfway through the second half, it's a pretty even game. And I thought the latter stages of the first half, we actually gained some momentum and some confidence and, and played well. Um, but I think it's important for people to realize this is their 25th straight NCAA tournament, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, did they have a, 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 a you know sluggish finish? Sure. Did they hit a bump in the road? Sure. But that, that's a good team, and Todd's done a great job, and Mays and Ernie, and you know Indiana's still Indiana. And uh, you know I want to make sure people know that, and uh, you know commend them and recognize them and their staff and their their guys for for a good job. Um, you know, I also want to thank Jerry Yagley and Todd and the whole Indiana soccer family. As you guys probably don't know, it's a, a big part of my life. Um, I've worked camp here for 15 straight years. Uh, I consider Todd and Ernie to be probably my two closest friends in coaching. And to be able to come here and compete with them and do it in a classy way, in a friendly way, and have no ill will and hard feelings, and it was a smooth game, I, I think that's pretty special. And uh, I wrote a letter to Coach Yagley 15 years ago as a nobody trying to get into coaching. Let me come to his camp, and you know, I, there's a lot of Indiana in that team today. There's a lot of Indiana in me. So, uh, as tough as it was to come out here, it was also a proud moment to bring this team out here today and, and compete. I guess the final thing, two things I'll talk about, is in 2010, the very first game that I coached uh, in that fall as my first year it was against Indiana. Todd agreed to do it. It was Todd's first game, and I came out here and I got on my knees in my hotel room, and I have no shame saying this. I said, "Please don't let us lose worse than six nothing tonight." And we happened to win the game too. And then we went and beat Indiana last year in preseason. So I think because of those two games, they probably respected us more than they might have. Uh, but what I'm getting at is is the building of our program actually started here in many ways. And the first great breakthrough moment for our program was here. And I thought, uh, despite the loss today, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, with Indiana, at Indiana, and be here in the second round is really uh, things came full circle in a sense. And then the last thing that comes to mind, we have six seniors that uh, played their final game today. Um, five of them went 2-13-1 as freshmen. Uh, were part of a broken program. I won't even call it a broken program, a broken operation. Uh, they stayed on board. They didn't stray. Uh, really embraced what I was trying to do. And uh, this is the first you know, class I've been with for three years where I'm really sad about losing a class and losing really a core of a program. And I want to thank them for um, helping build this and uh, buying in and really teaching me a lot about you know, who I am as a coach today and really you know, putting our blueprint together. Uh, I think it's safe to say Xavier Soccer's on the map. We had a wonderful season, 22 games, uh, just three losses. And, uh, you know, all the losses were VCU, St. Louis, and Indiana, uh, three seeded teams in the NCAA tournament, three top programs. So, uh, overall, I think we have nothing to be ashamed of, and uh, I'm just very proud of Xavier for giving me my first head coaching opportunity and, and the chance to be the leader in this group today.